Huh, kind of like that. And I've got this. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Got the two. So I've got all those pieces now. Squaring up the edge of all these two by fours for that bottom framework. Okay, here's the base frame all together. I've screwed and glued it after squaring off the top edge of those 2x4s. So, move on to the next step. This one next, two inch by nine and a quarter, inch and a half thick. Hmm. Look around, see what I got.
fastening this is next. 7 8 gap between this and this. So get ready for that. Okay, 7 8 inch gap in there I've got measured off. everything on the guides that go on the side so next uh, we gotta work work on the track next it's a uh, eight and three quarter inch with a 45 degree on the top and six foot long off on a wood hunt again Okay, got the side uh, towers mounted. Um, here's the guide where the track for the saw will slide up and down to adjust the height. Both ends are on. So now I need the track piece. I've got to go get some wood. I need an eight and three quarter by six foot to go in here all the way across so the saw that would be the guy for the saw slide up and down on so that's the only piece of wood i don't have right now okay i'm going to measure out this uh, track support piece it's a basically a two by four that's gonna goes on the back of the track to help keep it stiff so that's what I'm measuring out over here right now 70 and a half inches track support about an inch longer then I'll take it over to the table saw with the king for miter and make sure I got two square ends. Okay, now this uh, block here that will be used to hold a pin, I'm going to probably use steel pins, ball pins to set the height to be a row of holes along this tower, stick in, probably make holes half inch apart. So here's, I got one of those blocks on already, obviously I got to put a hole through this yet, and now I'm going to get ready to put the other one on this end. Okay, just a little bit of glue under it, not a lot. Here. Sure. Okay, then this uh, track support is going to go on the track, which I don't have yet. So it'll be on the back of the track, and it's going so to ride on there. And this is where we'll put the holes and get the uh, height for cutting the log. It'll slide up and down there and a pin 
And here we'll go in the holes every probably half inch along this piece here. Okay. Okay, let's cut the 45 for the track. Sawmill if we can here. Got this to hold it against the fence. Feather board to keep it from coming up. So hopefully this will be successful. Let's see. Did it. I'll tell you, this thing, nice. I just got that thing. It's got a little ball bearing here for the edge of the wood to run against. It's really a um, gizmo to adjust so you can run thin strips, consistent thin strips. Set it, move your fence to the next cut, next cut, and all your strips will be the same size. Pretty nice. It's from Peachtree, and it's a quality aluminum. Nice piece. I have to admit, it was only like 23 bucks. Cheaper than some of the others that were pieces of crap. Okay, have the track cut and the support that I'm putting on it now. So here is the track. It's got the 45 here. That's the top. Here's the support, two by four going all the way down. Here's the blocks that will wrap around the tower here. We'll have holes in it for the pin to set the height. So I think I'm good to go ahead with this. Okay, there's the guide, the brace, blocks on. Uh, that slides up and down for the height. So I still need the uh, holes and the pins to block it at the height and uh, need to make the plate to hold the saw and put the saw together. So I did get the saw, quarter cable 15 amp will be dedicated to this thing. So it's going to mount on a board that then is going to slide in this B slot there and go right now with the chain coming out this way. Getting there. 